What is going on guys? Welcome to Greg Olson TV Daily, your source for daily tech news. Make sure you subscribe so you know what's going on in the world of tech. How is everyone doing? I hope you're having a fantastic day. We've got a great day of tech news, so let's jump right in. Our first story of the day has to do with the new iPhone that'll be out next year and some features that it's rumored to have, some much welcomed features at that. So this information coming out is saying that the iPhone will have a USB-C charging cable instead of lightning. This would be absolutely huge, especially with a lot of the ramifications that are going on in Europe with the new iPhones, with Europe telling Apple that they need to use USB-C for their chargers. So that would be great to see that happen. Eight gigabytes of RAM, which I believe would be the most on any iPhone ever. And this would be for the iPhone 15 Pro Max. Improvements to the camera overall and the addition of a periscope lens on the iPhone 15 Pro Max. So some, I think the biggest takeaway from there, and we've kind of been hearing this rumor and I've even spoken about it, is USB-C finally coming to an iPhone. Now it's gonna suck for people to buy that phone and have only purchased iPhones for the past couple of years um, to have to find another charger but maybe Apple will do right with that and be like, hey, there's a charger in the box this year, there wasn't last year, or whatever. We'll see what they end up doing. Um, at least with Apple, if you buy a charging brick, at least the last couple of years, it has been, I believe, USB, USB-C on one end and then Lightning on the other. This would be USB-C on both ends at this point. So we'll keep our eyes peeled on this as more information comes out closer to the due date, which is basically a year away. I will let you guys know. And our last story of the day is a feature built into Samsung Galaxy phones that run Android 13, AKA One UI 5, that allows you to basically give your phone to a repair person without having to completely delete it. It's called maintenance mode. And I am gonna go right into it. Let me just close all this. So basically I got my phone here, swipe down from the top, hit the gear in the top right. This will bring you into settings. You wanna go down to battery and device care. Tap on that and then work your way all the way down and you're gonna see maintenance mode. Now on here, maintenance mode is described as uh, maintenance mode protects your privacy while there is you, while someone is using your phone such as you're sending it off for repairs. In maintenance mode, your personal data, including pictures, messages, and accounts cannot be accessed and only pre-installed apps are available. You need to unlock your phone uh, unlock your phone to turn off the maintenance mode. When you do, everything will go back to the way it was when maintenance mode was turned on. Changes made while maintenance mode is on, such as downloading data, installed apps, and other are not saved. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna hit turn on, and it's telling me the device needs to be restart. So I'm just gonna take a screenshot so you can see that. Restart without creating log, or you can create the log. I'll hit restart. It says normally it takes around two minutes after the log is created, your phone will restart in maintenance mode and you can safely head over, hand over your phone to your maintenance mode. So this is actually, while it's doing this, I'll kind of describe why you'd want it. So they've already told you why, but ultimately if you were kind of confused by it, by putting it into maintenance mode, now you need one UI 5, it allows you to hand off your phone and your personal data is safe. The only way they can get back to your regular phone is if they know your phone code or if you put your fingerprint in and it uh, you know, unlocks the phone and puts it back into the normal mode. But I love the idea of this to you know hand off your phone because you broke your screen or to hand off your phone because you did something or other and you're gonna be pretty much there because you're, you're the one that's gonna have to put it in maintenance mode, otherwise, you know, you're not gonna probably get it back, but this is great. This should also work. I'm, I, I'm wondering actually if this will be okay if you send this phone off to Samsung and you're like, hey, I'm gonna get my screen fixed, it broke. I'm gonna put it into maintenance mode now so that the time you get it, it will, you know, I can, when you send it back to me, I can unlock it and get all my stuff back without having to completely delete the phone. This could be ultimately a big game changer. It's booting back into the operating system. I'll let this finish up and then I'll you know, jump to that part of the video. It says switching to maintenance mode at the bottom right there. All right, so now the phone is completely void of anything to do with really me. I'm gonna swipe up. All right, it says maintenance mode at the bottom. And it's almost like a brand new phone in, in a lot of ways, which is kind of funny. I can go, let me see if I go into the Google Play Store, it's asking me to show multiple apps, just tell me how to use my phone. Basically asking me to sign in. So it's basically, it's devoid of anything on here that has anything to do with me. I'm gonna go into contacts and see what it says. Contacts, I'm not gonna show you because it actually shows my phone number but it does show contacts, but only my personal phone number it doesn't show anything else about it. Other than that, this is basically a blank slate of a phone. Now to go back, 
it says your phone by swiping down, you're gonna see your phone is in maintenance mode. Tap here to exit, and it's asking me you'll need to unlock your phone and hit exit, restart. It's asking for my identity. I can either use my pattern or my fingerprint, and now it's gonna restart and go back into regular phone mode. It will look at, it should anyway, look exactly like it did before when it was my phone. All right, it brought back my phone. I'm gonna unlock it real quick. And it already has my wallpaper and it's gonna obviously come up with all my apps and everything else that has to do with me. So I absolutely love this idea. It's a great, great idea. I don't know, if maybe they do it on their phones. I haven't really seen it. I mean, you could always add users or guest users, but and that's kind of what that is. But it's a quick one-stop shop to actually do that. So I love the idea. The other idea I've loved this with is you hand off your phone to your friend because they never tried Android or they just want to try your phone out and you don't want them to see or use your personal information. That is fantastic way of allowing them to do it and log in with their own stuff. And then when they're done, it automatically deletes all that stuff as well. So check it out, maintenance mode on One UI 5 slash Android 13. Have a great day and we'll see you down the road. Peace.